Everybody loves to watch a Math of Metal opening, and the Wizard's Guidance banner is now here for me at the start of Season 2. In this video, I'm going to rip open 100 Math of Metals, I'm going to talk about the tiered rewards and which commander you should go for, so let's get started. Hello my friends and welcome back, I'm Chiskool Gaming, and we're in Season 2 of Lord of the Rings Rise to War. We just completed the first chapter of the new season journey, which unlocks more Mathems. The Wizard's Guidance Chest is now available, and you can see, here it is. The Wizard's Guidance Chest has three of the new commanders. I'll talk about two of them in just a second because they are a tiered reward. For every 10 draws that you do, you get a guaranteed three pulls on the black walnut wood that is required to go and summon and improve their loyalty. It looks like there are also two tier threes that we could unlock here, Gandalf the White and the new commander Thorin, but let's talk about the two commanders that you can get along the way. These are interesting choices. I, I don't know how to pronounce their names and now I'm going to feel bad for not looking it up. Is it Imrahil? Oh man, I should have Googled this before I started recording. If we look at his abilities, they are actually really impressive. And what's most impressive is at loyalty level 5, or respect level 5. I mean, the ability to make yourself immune to stun and madness for your mounted units, it's another mounted unit commander. Gosh bless if we don't have a lot of mounted unit commanders. But stun immunity, madness immunity, could this be an answer to mama kills? Your horsemen, knights, cataphracts, and swan knights get bonus hit points, six hit points to be exact. Wow. A couple other things I'll call your attention to with this commander. This is not a commander review, but he benefits men and elves, uh, causing them to do maximum damage. Also, a chance on hit to do extra damage. Uh, there are other commanders that have this, like Aomer. Looking back to the beginning here, there's a healing ability, ally, uh, when manish units deal damage physical damage, you have a chance to recover hit points. So it feels like he's designed to be used primarily with men. Whereas looking on the other side of things, oh gosh, pronunciation problem here. I I, I mean, it, I'm not going to say Aladdin like the Disney movies, but like El Eladon, is that, is, did I get that right? Maybe this is, you'll tell me in the comments, please do. In his portrait, he's got a number of things available. We start with Hero, and I saw this and I was a little confused. The stun immunity, really good. But supporting it is experience from battles, like you can level him up faster. And then March Speed. This is kind of weird because, you know, I'm in the early game now, and I don't... Like, yeah, I want to level up faster, but I, I don't feel like I want to do that at the cost of combat effectiveness. So I'm, I'm a little perplexed there. He's also got a way to increase the damage dealt, and he's got some healing from round seven onwards, which is not so good for sweeping, but is certainly relevant at the start of the game. I mean, my combats are running pretty long. Uh, and then he's got some abilities that give himself might and focus, uh, giving himself a physical damage received or dealt buff. Uh, elves and men have a chance to do maximum damage. I don't know. W when I looked at the other commander, I thought, Okay, I know what I'm going to do with him. It's mounted units and the stun and madness immunity. It just seems really clear to me. But when I look here, I'm struggling to figure it out a little bit. When you get to respect level 5, commander and mounted units get a bonus. So apparently you want to use mounted units in his march. So speed boost, initiative uh, gain, and mounted units deal extra damage. I am... Not yet as clear what to do with him, but it seems like for both commanders, at some point, you just want to go all in on mounted units. Is that the play? Personally, between the two, and because I'm Gondor this round, I think this is who I would go with. And if I get a full unlock, that would be freaking sweet. But we can only hope to be so lucky. It's time to rip open the math and medals and hope for the best. In terms of the odds, they are the same, it looks like, as every other time that we've gone through and ripped open Mathems in terms of the distribution of the rarities here. So uh, let's just get started, shall we? Here we go. Smash them open and hope for the best, and that is a decent start. Okay, one extra epic item here. Every two rounds, you get, um, uh, meh, meh. 
I don't know. Worst case, it's fodder, right? Worst case, I get some fodder. And there's a carver. After the commander performs a normal attack, chance of doing some extra damage. And that is for men and evil men that get an attack boost. I mean, I'm intrigued by this, but I'm not currently using a carver. All right. And I'm getting the uh, black walnut wood respect item, which like, yeah, for the new commanders, that's pretty awesome. There's three of them. Boom. Four participating. Here we go. Boom. Oh, hey, hey. Ah, white robe cloth. Okay, so that's Gandalf the white materials right there. Has to be. And an elven dirk. Now, I'm not using an elven dirk. That just becomes fodder. I'm okay with that. And uh, yeah, it is Gandalf the white. The white robe cloth. There we go, man. I have so much respect spread across so many T3s. I don't know if I'm ever going to get one of them unlocked in max. It feels like it's going to take forever. This pull, not so exciting. Elven Dirk is here. And by the way, for those of you looking at this sometime in the future, we're in the middle of the Yuletide events, which is what you see down here. The firework materials uh, are related to Yuletide. That's Christmas time. And the three bonus materials. I mean, I, this is going fast. This is going very, very fast. I'm already, what, 20 pulls in? All right. I'd like to see things step up a little bit, but I'm kind of just getting wrecked here. Flat donut, zero. The pity epic. Oof. At least I can turn this into uh, wisdom, right? Impart wisdom on my commanders. That's, this is rough. Come on, pick up the pace. There we go, come on. Okay, white robe cloth. That's decent. And, okay, now we're getting some things. Hith lane, that's a good one. Uh, Mend is a solid attribute there. And then what else do we have? The Warhammer. I've got a Warhammer I've been working on uh, for my dwarves. So hang on to that. And then this is new. Arner Cask. First two rounds. All allies have a chance to gain stun immunity. Might and focus. That is almost certainly going to go into circulation. That seems really good. Stun immunity is very important when you're up against something that stuns, aka Witch King. It's just savage, man. And first two rounds, stun immunity. That's a, that is a very good pickup. The warding modifier, very happy about that. Don't know if I'll deploy it right away, but at some point I probably will. And here we go. Smash it open. What do we get? Okay, you know, I like the Horseman's Helm. This modifier, Grinding Assault, sucks. Like Cavalry Boost, never going to use it. But uh, I will use that as fodder for other Horseman's Helms that I have. And like, dude, Might Speed, Defensive Mounted Units. Uh, it's just so good for the uh, commanders that lean on Cavalry. Here we go. Five more and I get the Guaranteed Gift. And Legend. Ooh, Silver Harp of Rivendell. You know, I'm probably not going to use this. Let's see what the modifier is. I'm probably just going to shred it and put it into one of the other really amazing items that I've already got. Oh, but that is a good modifier. Iron Guard. Melee units recover 6% hit points every round. I'm going to have to sit on this one for a little bit and see if that modifier is so good that like, I just hold on to it. Um, but I'm very inclined to shred it to boost up one of the other really great accessories that I've already got. And then, boom, some black walnut. There we go. More black walnut. And we're well on our way. In fact, we're almost halfway through the opening. Come on, baby! White robe cloth. All right. More Gandalf respect. No full T3 unlocks for me yet on this account, by the way. And uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but the decorative coins are also a part of the Yuletide event. All right. Pity item was the black walnut. Come on. No full commander unlocks. And several black walnut items. That's actually pretty good. And a bone mask. Bone mask is solid. I am using a bone mask. Might focus army hit points. That's all really, really good. So that that's a fine pull. And, you know, okay, the blue helmets are, are fine, actually. Breakers. Damage received. Very interesting. New modifiers over there. And more black walnut. That is halfway through the pulls now. I'm doing okay, but not amazing. We could really stand to have uh, the luck kick up a bit here. And that has not happened yet. That's a that's a big fat donut pull. Nothing. Zero. Yikes. Black walnut pity item. We went to pity on that one. Come on, baby. We can do better than this, right? Come on! Hey. 
The Erebor map fragments. Um, okay. So this... Oh, a double! White robe cloth. Okay. Triple! Oh! Okay! Lothlorien belt. Oh, can we go for four? Can we go for four? No. Okay. Too much to ask. Triple was nice. What does this do? Focus. Speed. Range. Speed. Oh, wow. Allied ranged units recover 6% hit points every round. Rear reinforcement. Okay. That's not something I'm probably... That's not something I'm likely to shred. Let me say it that way. That seems really quite good. Focus, speed, speed of ranged. Wow. I have to think I'll find a use for that. Okay. Very nice. And three more black walnut. Let's go. Smash the button. We're getting close to being done with this. Ooh, another one of the new helmets. Let's go. Modifier for knights. Huh. Uh, okay. I need to look into that. Focus burn and poison damage reduction, but just for the one unit. I, I will have to see if that's good. I'm inclined to think it is not, but it also has me scratching my head thinking, but is that good? That could be compelling. All right. Black Walnut is the pity item here, the guaranteed item. And we'll get some guaranteed items here. Ooh. White robe cloth. Okay. Anything else? Oh, okay. The pity item was a legend. I'll take it. I'll take it. Bunch of blues, greens. I got a lot of this ale that I need to start to deploy for this season. And there's the guaranteed Black Walnut Wood. All right. We've got a few more draws left in us here. Ripperoo went to pity. Didn't get much here. There's the black walnut wood. Rip. A bunch of other respect items I can turn in. And oh, oh, okay. A hobbit fiddle. A hobbit fiddle. Focus. Speed. Uh, and speed again. Actually, not the worst. I don't think I'll use this. I'll probably shred it, but not bad. Okay. And there's the black walnut wood. And smash again. Come on, baby. White robe cloth. Man, I am going to have so many half-completed but unsummoned tier threes. Battle axe. All right, cool. Smash it again. Keep it going. Come on, baby. Give me the luck. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey. Hey. Uh, so we did it? Pog? We did it? There's Thorin. Full unlock. We did it. Screenshot. Taking a screenshot. Saving that for a separate Thorin video. <laughs> okay. Let's go. We got there. I don't even know. Is he, any, is he any good? Is he any good? Okay. Wow, 9,000 respect available to conscript. Let's go. Whoa. Okay, top it off with a trapper's hood. Allied ranged units, damage received. Wow, full letter. Woo, Thorin got my love letter. Let's go. Wow. All right, well, uh, let's just do the remaining 10 pulls here and then... See, uh, what Thorin does for us. Okay. Black Walnut, Black Walnut, Black Walnut, and four Black Walnut Woods. I mean, okay. Sure. That's a good pull, actually. A lot of respect there. Final pull. Final pull. Here we go. Come on! White Robe Cloth. Let's go. All right. All right, Black Walnut Wood. That's a double for the Black Walnut Wood. The White Robe Cloth. Smash that out. Guaranteed items. And importantly, yo, let's go summon this dude. What does he do? Whoa, look out. Cave troll. Oh, gotcha. Oh, oh. It's a little violent, but also heck of an animation. All right. Wow. There it is. Thorin. Cool. We got him, fam. We did it. We caught ourselves a rare Pokemon. All right. Thorin, what's your deal, my guy? 
Respect. Take my respect. Okay. What does he do? I don't know. Let's start from the top. Oaken Shield. Very cool. Uh, deals damage once and damage received is reduced. Stackable uh, and lasts until the end of battle. Ooh. He gets very tanky. Okay, so you do damage and then you get tanky as heck. And uh, against one target, you deal a bunch of physical damage. There's a big range for how much you could do. Topple. Against one enemy target, deal 50% physical damage once and imposes a 50% chance of being stunned. Ah, stuns are strong. Stuns are very strong. The Revivalist. Uh, against one enemy, deal 13.3% physical damage and recover hit points. Ooh, he could be good. He could be good. Healing, I... I had a good feeling about this. First three rounds, all allied units damage dealt, modified by focus stat. And I mean, dude, that seems good. Okay. And, uh, ooh, the max level of this revivalist makes it so that two allied units recover hit points. That's nice. Okay. Frightened. Uh, against two enemy targets for the first four rounds, there's a chance of stunning them. Sick, man. So he deploys his own stun at the start of battle. Now, a lot of folks are running around with stun immunity, but it still seems powerful to me. Against one enemy target, deal 14% physical damage and increase allied dwarven unit defense. Okay, and that stacks and dwarf hit points here. Ooh, good thing I held on to my, some, some of my dwarf items here. They may be more relevant than I thought for me this season. Dwarven giant, first four instances of battle. Uh, skill damage each time is boosted. Okay, so extra skill damage at the start of the fight. Physical damage ignores defense. Long beard. He does have a long beard. And King of Durin's Folk. All dwarven units damage received. Okay, so he's not a dwarf specialist at the start, right? But then he becomes a dwarf specialist. So for now, I could use him if I wanted to. And like, that'd be cool. He's not a dwarf specialist. But later on, I need to be thinking about making a dwarven army if that's what I'm going to do. Because... All the way at the top, all Dwarven units, damage received. You get Dwarf attack over here. Uh, army damage from melee units is reduced and well prepared. When hit by enemies, normal attacks within range perform a counter attack. Okay. I'm going to have to do some thinking. This is not a Thorn guide. I think I gear them up and level them up. I mean, I don't know. That could be like really strong. I'll have to figure out how I get his respect items. It could be. Could it be? That this item that I had purchased earlier, will it work? Oh, it's season one flawless commanders. Are you serious? I think they're serious. They're serious. GG. Also, wait. That's the royal banner. And that's... Oh, okay. You just have to look closely. You can see there is a difference. All right. My bad. Those are two different banners. GG, just cool. They're both like blue. I don't know, man. They're banners. Okay, well, that was worth a shot. And if I go to the bundles, of course, oh my gosh. We got some bundle options up in here. Oh boy, I'll have to figure out if that's something I want to do. This is season one commander gift pack still. Uh, ooh, medals abound. Hello, that's a nice one to show up. And I don't know, do I pay the big bucks to get more of his respect? Maybe I will for the YouTubes, but to be determined. If you'd like to see that and more, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. This is going to be a really uh, exciting season. Season two, there's going to be a lot of combat that like, look, in season one, I didn't show much because like we kind of just dominated. And now who knows what's going to happen, man? It's a whole new freaking world. Until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies and leave a comment down below. Yo, we got the new commander. Is he good? And what did you think of those polls?